Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how can we read CSV file through buffer reader. As you can see on the screen, I have added a class read CSV buffer reader. In the previous video, we would have covered how to read CSV with CSV reader. The similar kind of concept is there for here. We will use the same kind of try and catch for buffer reader also. I'll add this video on the top right corner of the page so that you guys can follow on. So today we are going to see how to read CSV file with buffer reader. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So as simple as that, we'll use try followed by catch. Catch will catch the exception. I'll write exception E. After that, uh, if exception is there, just print stack trace of that exception. So in try what we'll do, we'll use buffered reader bv equal to br equal to buffered reader new buffered reader of new file reader. So similar concept what we use in csp reader, we use csp reader of new csp reader with new file reader. Okay. So the file will take it from here. What we were seeing from a CSV, the same file we used for scanner, CSV reader and buffer reader. We'll use the same CSV file. Okay. Let us see the suggestions for file reader. So it is java.io. So even the buffer reader will be in java.io package. So I'll put dot star so that uh, you can see buffered reader is also recognized from this package. So I'll use a while loop. Before adding the while loop, I'll add a, a string of uh, next. Okay. So I'll write next equal to br dot read line. And this next, whatever we are reading, should not be equal to null. Okay. So I'll write not equal to null. Then only we'll read it. So inside this, as simple as that, we'll use a for loop. Here we can take a string array. I'll write a string array with tube details as an array. I'll write next dot. We can write split. Okay. We'll split this with comma. CSV file has comma, right? Now we can uh, run an array with this YouTube details. So I'll write for int i equal to 0 i less than YouTube details which is an array now dot length i plus plus. That's it. Now what we'll do, we'll put this out. We'll read the YouTube details, the array with i. That's it. Now, so let me run this as Java application. Now you can see the channel name, one of the channel, headers, other technical order, and other it has printed. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.